It is with much delight, joy and anticipation that we bring to you the memories of Lemuria. Though these memories have appeared lost for a while, they have continued to live and thrive in your hearts unto this now moment in time. In Telos, we are honored to join hearts with you to assist in the unification of our two civilizations. We send you much love from Telos, where this divine energy flows in great abundance. Until we meet, keep practicing the art of true love, which begins with loving yourself. May love abound in your hearts for each other and for all of creation, as precious jewels and expressions of the love of our Mother Father God. We hold you dearly in our hearts. Adama, Galatia and Anamar. Dedication I would like to dedicate this book to all the ascended beings who are helping humanity and the ascension of this planet from the other side of the veil, especially Lord Maitreya, Lord Sananda, Saint Germain, El Moria, Kuan Yin, Mother Mary, Kuthumi and Archangel Michael. I want to acknowledge Mother Earth for her infinite love and patience in providing a platform for the evolution of our souls in gaining greater wisdom and understanding. I also want to express my deep love and gratitude to Adama, the High Priest of Telos, who has been so loving and patient with me, and to all my Lemurian family of Telos. Acknowledgements. To my sister Helen, to my brother Guy and their families who have always been so close to me in this life, always ready to extend love, understanding and a helping hand. To Thomas, my former brother in the time of Lemuria, and to my parents who are now assisting me from the other side of the veil. To all members of the Telos Worldwide Foundation, who are working with so much love and dedication to assist the emergence of our Lemurian family. I want to express my deep gratitude to our Lemurian brothers and sisters who have held the energies of the Ascension Flame for the planet until we become spiritually mature enough to hold these energies ourselves. Last but not least, I wish to honor my beloved Twin Flames, Adama and Anamar, who have remained in Telos since our physical separation at the time of the sinking of Lemuria, for patiently awaiting my return. Adama and Anamar, I know that from your realm, you have loved and supported me consistently throughout my long journey on the surface. With deep love, I thank you both with all the gratitude my heart can express. A word from Aurelia Louise Jones a few years ago while I was living in Montana, Lord Sananda, formerly known in his last incarnation on Earth as the Master Jesus, told me in a channeling session that I would eventually move to the Mount Shasta area to prepare for a much greater arena of service in fulfillment to humanity and the planet. A few months later, in February of 1997, I received an email message on my computer from Adama, the High Priest of Telos, inviting me to consider moving to the Mount Shasta area to prepare for an eventual mission with the Lemurians. The message was not very long, about 12 to 15 lines, but very specific. It carried a wonderful love energy vibration. I was quite surprised, to say the least, and was excited about receiving such a message from those I had been hoping to reconnect with for so long. I soon began to make my plans to move to Mount Shasta, and I arrived with all my belongings and family of cats one year later in June of 1998. Three years after my move, to my disappointment and sadness, I felt that I had gone through a long series of intense initiations but still had not received any contact or communication from the Lemurians. I began to think they were ignoring me or I was not, good enough. Perhaps they had changed their minds about working with me, or I had failed their tests. I was unaware that all this time I had been receiving a long series of what is known as, the initiations of the mountain, and was being prepared on the inner plane for my mission of service. Finally, one afternoon, totally unexpectedly, I received a letter from Adama, hand delivered by a messenger. The letter informed me I was now ready to start working more closely and consciously with him in fulfilling my mission. I then received another series of intense initiations, some regarding my channeling skills, which up to that point I had been hesitant to explore. In another communication from Lord Sananda a few months later, I was told that the time for Adama to be heard on this planet had come, and that he had chosen to work through me for this very purpose. He also shared what an awesome ascended master Adama was, and added, Know this, Adama does not do anything in a small way. He has big plans. He intends to be heard in a big way on this planet. Prepare yourself for this deep merging of his energies with yours and the unfolding of his plan. At that point, I was a beginner at channeling. 
I knew I had to go beyond my fears, self-doubts and hesitation rather quickly and purposefully to sharpen my channeling skills. There was no more time for me to sit on top of hills and watch the clouds go by. Almost immediately, and in spite of myself, several people started asking me to channel written material from Adama for them or to have private channeled sessions with him. I was invited to channel Adama for various public presentations. Since then, I have channeled him several times in small and large public events in the US, Canada, France, Switzerland and Belgium. It is obvious to me now that this was only the beginning, and that my mission with the Lemurians was unfolding and expanding into a much greater arena of service. Opportunities were opening rapidly, and basically all I needed to do was to make myself available for service. I greatly enjoyed bringing through the new information for these books and there will be much more to come in the future. Each time I channel Adama, I feel him directly within my heart. I feel warmth and comfort from his love that expands and glows. When I feel his energy within my heart, it makes my heart sing. I now know him as a most loving, trustworthy and loyal friend. When more direct contact with the Telosians had manifested, I also connected closely with other wondrous beings from Telos. I reconnected with former Lemurian family members, including a conscious connection with my twin flame Anamar, who has been living in Telos in the same physical body since the demise of Lemuria. As I walk and explore various areas around Mount Shasta, my Lemurian team, as they call themselves, always seems to be with me. They have shown me several ancient sacred sites and temples that still exist in the fifth dimension. We've visited entrances to multi-dimensional corridors and portals, energy vortexes, fairy lands, and even a place where large families of unicorns still live. They reside in a dimension that is slightly above ours and are visible only to those with expanded inner vision. The places they have shown me have not yet been recognized or unveiled by anyone on the surface, and they must remain veiled until the right vibration prevails on our planet. I also know that there is much more to be discovered on the surface and inside the Earth than we could possibly imagine, and it will gradually be disclosed as a progressive revelation. This is exciting, my friends, because as we open our consciousness to our divinity, as we let go of duality to embrace harmlessness and oneness, a new world will emerge right in front of our eyes. This world waits upon our awakening to a reality that has always existed, a reality that was only veiled from our sight by our long journey into the illusion of separation from God. This world is filled with magic, love, wonders and great diversity. How exciting it will be for all of us to rediscover the treasures we left behind a very long time ago. The return of the Lemurians and their eventual emergence among us is nothing less than the second coming that has long been awaited. Long ago, the Lemurians achieved the fullness of Christ consciousness. When we are ready to receive them among us, they will teach us how to implement, right here on the surface of this planet, the type of paradise they have forged for themselves in Telos. They will assist us in birthing a golden age that will manifest the fullness of the Christ consciousness, which is the divinity that has always resided within our hearts. The indwelling Christ of our being will become tangibly manifest on this planet and in our daily lives. Welcome from Adama greetings, my dear friends, it is indeed with great joy and excitement in our hearts that we of Telos connect, in the energy of love, with all of you who feel drawn to the revelations of the new Lemuria. On behalf of the Lemurian Council of Twelve of Telos, the King and Queen of Telos, Ra and Ranamu, and all of your former brothers and sisters of the present-day Lemurian civilization, we welcome you to the heart of Lemuria, the heart of compassion. We are indeed the survivors of that mighty civilization, and to the great surprise of many on the surface, we reveal to you at this important time in Earth's evolution, that we are real, very well and alive within Mount Shasta, California, after 12,000 years of isolation from the surface population. The time has now come, beloved ones, for our two civilizations to reunite again. One of the main purposes of our writings is to assist in the establishment of the foundation necessary to prepare for our eventual emergence among you. The long dark night that has separated us for so long is now over. We are planning to emerge among you in the near future to reunite in love, wisdom and understanding with those of you who are ready. It is our heartfelt desire to teach you what we have learned since the sinking of the Lemurian continent, and to assist you in creating for yourselves the type of paradise we have created for ourselves. 
We have forged the path for you, and when we share this higher level of spiritual wisdom and understanding, it will be much easier for you to follow in our footsteps. We will walk side by side with you along the way. It is especially heartwarming for us to see our information published in several languages, because we are aware that it will reach a much greater population on the planet. Many souls in other countries are ready and yearning to reconnect with us and with the aspect of themselves which lived on the Lemurian continent. So many of you who are drawn to this material have, to this day, former family members living in Telos or in present-day Lemuria. These family members and friends love you so very much and are longing to reconnect with you. Many of our people in Telos, who have former family members living on the surface, have learned your language in order to communicate with you with ease at the time of our emergence. We ask you, dear ones, to take our information to heart and make a conscious effort to create a bridge of love and communication between our two civilizations. It is that bridge of love and receptivity from your hearts to ours that will bring us to you in a more tangible way. We are awaiting your response. Call on us in your hearts, and we will be at your side, whispering and singing to you our song of union and oneness. We all champion your victory. We are always available to assist you in reaching your goals and heart's desires. I am Adama, your Lemurian brother. To return to full consciousness, as divine beings, it is imperative that you now begin to turn the leadership over to the heart, and allow the heart to rule again, rather than the mind. Anamar.